My name is Jane Mazla and I am the director of the Medical City Arlington Emergency Room. Medical City Arlington has 53 beds in its ER and we are a level 3 certified hospital. My name is Michelle Gray. I'm one of the ER managers at Medical City Arlington. Here at Medical City Arlington in the emergency room, we strive to give our patients the very best care possible. In order to do that, we have to ask them appropriate questions and get all the right information for our physicians to take great care of them. My name is Joe Segura. I'm one of the CT techs here at Medical City Arlington, and I've been doing this for 30 years. We take care of our ER patients here. We uh, take really good care of them. We have a brand new machine, and we try and do uh, the exams as best as we can to get the best results that we can and taking good care of them. My name is Dana Griffin, Nurse Oncology Navigator at Medical City Arlington. Here at Medical City Arlington, we have a comprehensive cancer oncology program with excellent physicians, great support, and wonderful staff. We look forward to taking care of you and serving our community. Hi, I'm Dr. Holbrook. I'm an emergency medicine physician here at Medical City Arlington. Uh, you know, we always strive to give the uh, highest quality and compassionate care here at Medical City in Arlington. And it's really important to us to take care of folks because they're in a really tough situation and uh, they need our help. Medical City Arlington is happy to be a part of the Mansfield ISD Education Foundation. This is to, for you to illustrate how mutations happen in the DNA. And in this activity, I have already made a piece of normal DNA, okay, so it's going to be on the table for you, and you're going to build um, the DNA of somebody that has sickle cell anemia. And so you're going to use the material just like we did last time. I wrote down the colors again, and you're going to use the connects to the DNA for the sickle cell anemia and to show the mutation. We had worked several years an activity that was called mystery disease and uh, we did it all with paper and we were having issues because the student didn't know how to use the microscope and the slides the way we wanted so we decided that would apply for a grant that would provide us with slides. Um, but as we were writing the grant, we decided to use, to look at multiple way to use the material that we wanted to use for the grant. So um, the, the one that we decided to use today was the model of the DNA, and we were gonna use the model of the DNA, the connects, to do the life cycle of viruses or bacteria or even um, protists and out of the Connects uh, DNA, we were able to use it for DNA, DNA modeling, replication, and uh, in this case, mutations. The grants that we write are, we try to make them real life based or problem based that they can actually encounter in real life. So we try to make them solve problems, which they're gonna need all their life, not just for college. I'm hoping that using hands on material, the student will be able to remember from, you know, in the fall to the spring and eventually the test and maybe later on in their life and say, oh, I remember when I did that DNA model when I was in high school. So I'm hoping that it will stay there for a long time. Uh, we use the connects in the unit of the DNA where the student actually build the DNA, they replicate the DNA, they did the RNA, and then today we're using it again for mutation and um, figuring out some of the diseases that are caused by mutations. One of the stations the student were actually building the model of the mutation and the other station they were answering question about the, uh, the disease that they were looking at which is sickle cell anemia. The donor being here, being able to see how we actually use the money, I hope will help them understand that we actually need material that we cannot get with regular funding and that they will continue helping the schools, any schools for that matter. That day I was the last one to find out, so by the time I got out in the hallway, everybody was already cheering in the hallway and so it's really exciting.
It's been a lifesaver. There's so many things that we've been able to get with grant money that we cannot get with regular school funding. So we are able to do exciting stuff like this one in this case, the connects that we would not be able to do. It is very important. Those resources help us being excited about what we do. It helps the student being excited about what they do. And hands-on is always fun for them. Big, 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 big thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>